I'm interested to see if Kronovi, Aeon, and Astro are going to give those same kind of mistakes and allow those opportunities to come through. Um, I think Charlotte Phoenix is obviously favored here, but they want this one and they want it bad. Uh, having an extra life going into tomorrow for a team like Charlotte Phoenix would be huge. Continuum are already secured exactly in their spot. They will be yep. in the third and fourth range in this group. They will go through into the knockout gauntlet tomorrow in the lower bracket. But they get to kind of play spoiler here for the Charlotte Phoenix. And maybe, just maybe, a little bit of that magic that we saw out of Cookser last weekend in Europe. Still in the tank for Kronovi in his quest to get to a championship Sunday. Again, they'll have to work from the lower bracket, and that's tomorrow. Let's live in the here and now, as it is Kronovi against Beastabonium. Andy, trying to slow play this one through, and it's going to be blocked away to the corner. Interesting choice there. I think Andy actually had an opportunity there to play it to the backboard and look for a double tap. He chose to just try and keep it close. Uh, ends up turning into a little bit of nothing. He may have just been trying to 50 that out for his teammate. He's going to take a shot here, though, and Andy finds home. Charlotte Phoenix take an early lead 1-0. Charlotte Phoenix pick it up well, just about right where they left off. They did give up three unanswered goals at the end of their series, but this is more of what we saw against FaZe. Just getting on the board now early and continuing that momentum. This is a team that is well warmed up. Andy out of the corner, nobody to pass to. Novi going to be the one to try and work this downfield. Throws it a little far. Couldn't keep it close. And Delta takes it. But right back down. Aeon looking to try and challenge that ball in on the near side post. Can't get a piece. And Kronovi will have to make a diving save. Recovers well and is able to push that ball out into the midfield. Buying a little bit of time for the rest of the team to get some boost and get in position. Cool. Drop thought that's down in for front. Kronovi can't score. Beastabonium with the save. And now Aeon and Astro run into each other, and, well, they <laughs> both almost turned off the ball, too. <laughs> what? It's good. I don't know what that <laughs> I gotta was. Go. Oh, I gotta go to get boost. Gotta go get the boost. Whoa, one of us gotta get the ball. Somebody get the ball. <laughs> I'd love to hear the inner monologue that's going on. Nice touch from Astro. That opens a shot for Aeon, and he's gonna then get the goal stolen away. Astro's actually gonna jump back out and make the touch. Yeah, Astro waiting on the doorstep here. Just had to make sure. Yeah, yeah. And it goes in. Hey, two former Rival Series players teaming up with Papa Kronovi. 1-1. And now Astro going to play this from the ground. Beast of Bonium had to wait way back. Here's Aeon for the lead. Ooh. Yes, sir. Great decision making here from Aeon. Way to spot that up. Astro. Gets a good low 50. Really, he doesn't 50 it, but is able to get that ball to pop mid. Aeon's right in position. Pops up. Delays it just a little bit. Waits for the defenders to jump up. Sees where the hole is and just slots it home. Great effort there from Aeon. And the guys on the side of Continuum as they now take the lead. Pass down to the middle is going to be a bit much for Andy to get a, uh, get a hold of. Ooh, good pass back in field though. And knocked away to the corner. Astro. Pop that away, but it's Andy to come back in. Needed a second touch, didn't have it. But it's enough to slow down the defense of Continuum as well. They will get out of the zone. Astro out of control, but recovers nicely on the side. Grenovi waiting on the doorstep. Pass never got to him. Beastabonium has been a thorn in Crow's side the whole time. He has stopped everything Grenovi's tried to set up. He's to Bonium. Good pass mid. Delta with a shot. Finds the slot. Aeon is there to fill it. Oh, good wave dash from Andy. Trying to get that one to pop up mid. Making use of the mechanics. Not able to get enough of it, though, to get Beast of Bonium or Delta to feel comfortable coming forward. Good decision from them as the defender was up early for it. Oh, Andy couldn't continue the play as this will bounce off of Aeon. Bounce off Kronovi. Astro's got to go all the way back for boost. Here's Delta and the Phoenix on the attack again. Andy just ahead of Crow. Beastabonium, tough read. Couldn't direct that down on target. And now it's Aeon against Andy. Andy's just going to retreat out and tag Delta in. So Andy can make the play from the back. Got the demolition on Astro. Oh my. Another big <laughs> bump. But it's Astro making the save. And now Aeon back the other way. The pace picking up now for Continuum and the Phoenix. 
but it seems to, to favor Continuum for the moment. Beast of Bonium has literally just been driving around in the opponent's half, just bumping and demoing people, not coming out of it. And then that double commit air bump where Delta and Beast of Bonium just kind of sandwich the player out of the air. Nothing to come of it, but I like the aggressive play. It's at least uh, causing a bit of chaos around the pitch. Andy here through the corner can't get back to it, and Astro will be the one to bring it out. Good read from Delta. Pops one towards the net and saved away by Kronovi. Oh, Delta pops this up. This is dangerous. And he had to go all the way back to his own back line to clear that away. The offensive continuum was lurking, but now their defense has to kick in, and it does. Aeon sweeps one away. Cronovia will play it right back down into the Charlotte end with only 10 seconds left. Beast of Bonium for Delta. No, it's going to be Andy to take over with only a few seconds left. One more time downing the ball for Continuum, and that's going to do it. Continuum take game one. Man, back and forth there. A lot of attacks on both sides, but in the end, Continuum playing the better game here. Stacks, really, I was expecting Charlotte to come in strong, coming off that win that they just had. But no, Continuum getting it done. Also, scoreboard not really showing it. It showed Cronovi at the bottom for Continuum. Kronovi is actually doing quite a bit. I like his position. I think Crow actually looks really solid in rotation with this team. Uh, it looks like he feels comfortable. He didn't get a lot in the terms of assists and um, shots, but he was back there breaking up plays before the shots occurred on net. So Kronovi playing up right now. So we go to game two. Things have got to change for Charlotte Phoenix. And remember, they started off the last series a little slow. They dropped the first game to phase, and it wasn't particularly close. But then they came right back and stormed the castle. And then some. Astro in a oh, tough beast. spot defensively. Beast of Bonium can't score, but Andy can. And here, Phoenix. Beast of Bonium is such a problem for teams. He's that kind of wild card player for Charlotte Phoenix. And when he starts feeling it and he gets after the ball, he can just cause so much disruption. We saw him do bumps, demos in the last game. They weren't able to close that one out. But if Beast of Bonium can get up and make touches on the ball like that to create openings in the defense, his team trusts him to do that. And they'll be there to finish it off every time. Delta got a piece of this ball off of Aeon, but it's Astro who would have had that on target if not for the defense of Charlotte. Now it's Kronovi giving way to Astro, but rotating back practically underneath the ball. That throws off the defense, and Delta will score, and it's a runaway early for Charlotte. Good touch from Beast of Bonium. Aeon comes out to make the touch, but Crow doubles on him, and that time it was a big mistake. Huge open net freebie for him to just shoot on and Beast of Bonium, two assists Andy Delta, both the goal apiece here early, we're not even through the first minute of game two oh, Kronovi oh. looking for his first goal of the series but denied and Beast of Bonium trying to stop Aeon, he does and Kronovi stoned by Andy as well the defense of Charlotte Phoenix coming through big against Continuum in game two and over here, going to try and speed up through that transition to try and bring it out. Andy reads it well and is able to get there in the middle. Double commit. Beast of Bonium should be able to recover in good position to make a touch on the ball. Wins the 50 through the corner. Pronovi to Aeon. Aeon to Astro. And now a shot opportunity for Crow, but read early in the midfield by Delta. That's the problem with a slow developing passing play like that. You can kind of get pushed up a little too much, especially if it gets blown up as it did by Charlotte. Good job by Continuum, not over committing. Realize that they still got three plus minutes to go. There's no need to panic or throw the house at them just yet. Good win by Aeon, but Beast of Onium's there. That's not a good ball, however. Grenovi for Aeon to get on the board and Delta jumps in the way. Andy here, boost to spend, looking to get it past Astro. Tries to 50 it low and under, but can't get to it. Astro, a little bit more boost in the tank to make the play. This has been better in the last minute or so yeah. out of Continuum, but not good enough still. Stymied by the defense of Charlotte Phoenix. Andy up the ladder as Kronovi and Astro practically collide. And it'll be Crow that takes over. 
Things aren't looking good at all as far as communication goes for Continuum in this series. They got away with it in game one. No such luck in the Encore. Yeah, game two looking a little bit rougher for them. Andy going to come to the ceiling, looking to get one past Crow. Just makes a bit of an off touch. Buys the team some time, so that'll allow Beast of Bonium to come forward. Delta comfortable coming forward, too, as they start sending the house forward to try and make the attack. And Crow loses possession. Andy, boost to spend, looks to go under, can't get it. Here goes Cordovi, full tank of boost. Got to make something happen and said he'll defer to Astro. Inside two minutes now as Aeon will take over. That goes off Kronovi. Was it planned? Uh, didn't look like it in the end. That's been, again, a problem for Continuum. Whether their plays are planned or not, they're not getting the results they need. It just looks ugly at the end. That's exactly where my mind was and the fact that it, it just doesn't feel like these are planned, right? A lot of these have been kind of odd off touches, and once the first touch goes wrong, they try to keep the play alive, but they end up expending a lot of boost in the process. Crow going to try and make a quick cut here. Piece of bone even tries to get a piece of him. Crow narrowly escapes. Off to the mid. Aeon up early. Here's something that could be a little bit of nothing. A little bit of nothing. Aeon's going to get cut off by Beast of Bonium. What a win by Delta to keep this in the zone and slow down Continuum even more. I mean, this is just like an assembly line right now for Charlotte Phoenix. Next man up. This time it's Andy, but he's beaten by Astro. Beast of Bonium whiffed on it, but nobody could get a shot off. I think everybody just assumed Beast would have that ball, and why not? He's had everything else. That's then he gets bumped on the goal line and oh. still makes the save. That was a great pass and shot on target right where you want it, but just a better save out of Charlotte Phoenix. Beast of Bonium here. Delta trying to beat on Astro. Has the beat. It's going to pop mid. And he actually doesn't go for it. Thought Cronovi was going to go. He ends up pumping the brakes, and that opens the door for Astro. Cronovi now looking to shoot around Delta. Oh. Beast of Bonium fills the hole on the bottom side. I think he might have been trying Ooh. to get a little too cute. Beast of Bonium makes one more save, and Cronovi rejected by Beast of Bonium at the last. Charlotte Phoenix are going to answer back with a shutout in Game 2, and this series is all tied up. That one goes Charlotte. Charlotte looking a lot cleaner here in game two. A little bit uh, a little bit of a flashback to their previous series. As they start to pick it up in game number two, we'll see what happens as we get into game three. Continue to have some moments that they had brief moments where they were able to take attacks. They still got the same number of shots out, but it felt like a lot of their plays, as we were saying, were unplanned, just kind of this ball was hit that wasn't on target. I'm gonna try and turn this back into something. If they can cut that out because they're expending way too much boost in those situations, I think that they could play this, uh, get back into this series. But Charlotte Phoenix is dominantly in control right now. So we go to game three to break this one all tie. Charlotte Phoenix warmed up and then some. Astro tried to slow play against Delta. Good luck. Bernovi. Late turn to get on this ball. It's Andy backboard Beast of Bonium for the lead early. Oh, things still going the way of Charlotte Phoenix here as they get the first one. Andy, good touch up off the backboard, and that's just going to give a ton of space. Beast of Bonium sees that little bit of movement forward out of the defender and decides to just throw it right above him. Hard stop for them to make. 1-0, Charlotte Phoenix. Andy, out of the side, he's still got a piece of that as Kronovi tried to clear out of the zone. Now Astro, gonna have to take this himself. 50 in the tank, got around one, but not two, as Delta makes the save and it forces Aeon to the center line. Andy, with time, gonna try and just 50 it out there on Kronovi. Opens the door, Beast of Bonium. Can't make contact though. There was a lane there for him to shoot. He just could not get on the ball. He passed down field. That one should be knocked away pretty easily by Beast of Bonium, but Astro's on it. Forces Andy though. to make that save there. A bunch of scramble on the back end of Charlotte Phoenix. Andy gets in the way. Beast of Bonium jumps. Everybody scrambling over and over again here on Charlotte Phoenix, but it just is not getting through. The defense stands strong. You know, I, look, I know that 
Charlotte Phoenix, Phoenix, fire, all that. Playing with fire is not good. You will get burned. <laughs> and that's what Charlotte was doing on the goal line. And they do this? get burned. Aeon scores. It's like I'm a prophet. Yeah, Delta goes and could have gone around, but he respected Kronovi too much, who was coming forward. He thought he was going to get bumped, and he turns off of it, and that leaves the last man in a really bad situation where they were expecting him to make that challenge on that ball. And now it's a 1-1 game where they should have been able to get out of that, but Andy off the kickoff. He'll make up for it. Finds home. 2-1, Charlotte Phoenix. Oh, kickoff goals. I mean... That is so bizarre. Normally a kickoff goal has an assist. You never see it where a guy who's taken the kickoff ultimately gets to follow it up himself like that. That should never happen. Astro Good. forced that through and Beastimonium makes the save. Now Cronovi just shadowing him and he will take over, but he couldn't control. Got to take it out for his efforts. Here goes Aeon against Andy. Won the challenge or at least kept it neutral. And Kronovi will try to do some work of his own, but Delta makes the stop. And again, just anytime Kronovi tries to get something set up, Char uh, Charlotte just a little bit faster. He's to Boney. I'm going to try and work this one through the corner. Kronovi now able to make a touch. And Charlotte Phoenix trying to keep this one stuck in their opponent's half, eventually giving time and space to Aeon to bring this one out. Bit of a missed touch. Not sure what Aeon was trying to go for there, but does at least get it downfield for the moment. Second half of game three as Astro will drop that down to Aeon. They've got Kronovi downfield, but Aeon's going to call his own number, and Delta goes right up to stuff his effort. Delta for Beast of Bonium, but Beast went a little too far ahead. So now it'll be Andy. Beaten by Astro. Aeon lurking at the back. Beastabonium made that look interesting. It's almost <laughs> like he was baiting in Kronovi. Beastabonium almost made it real interesting. And the pass downfield. Delta to Andy. 3 1. Assurance goal on the board now for Charlotte Phoenix. Charlotte Phoenix continue to press their advantage. And that is a rare change of pace in this series. This has been a very slow paced series. Charlotte yeah. racing down the field and almost surprising continuum. Andy, nice little off touch to get, get, around, uh, get that around. Aeon coming back for it off the touch and it's going to turn into another goal going the way of Charlotte Phoenix. Bit of an odd one here is Delta has to come in and 50 it off the top of Kronovi. That's just not good enough. I mean, Aeon, he practically made like a full 360 degree turn before finally going for that ball. You just got to know, you are not going to have that much time. It's got to be a quick jump and adjust in the air. Got to trust your mechanics. It's 4-1 now, maybe 4-2. No, nothing on that shot at all. And it meets two Charlotte defenders. Beast of Bonium, big booming clear. And that may put things out of reach for Continuum. Yeah, at this point, Charlotte Phoenix, you'll just start seeing them most likely do booming shots. They'll still come down make some plays but expect to see a lot of booms where they're just going to try and eat clock time throw this ball down the pitch they're comfortable at this point they can just hold on east of to delta delta pops mid doesn't even follow just lets astro go for it again immediately back to defense they are just looking to lock this in secure this win and call it a day or at least Charlotte. a game i guess they got to get one more <laughs> Charlotte Phoenix continuing to battle here, trying to secure their spot in the top two. Kronovi will watch Delta play this ball. Not what you're looking for out of continuum. Pace of play just is not there. It's almost like they're going through the motions at this point. And maybe they've just accepted their fate in this game and are looking ahead to game four. <laughs> Aeon, shot on, on is going to go under the bar, and maybe there's a little bit of life with 27 left. Delta comes in, does a challenge there, and it ends up popping right out for Aeon, who just slams it home. Maybe there's a little bit of life, but it's short. 
It's short. You need to get something done here very quickly. Kronovi going to be the one to bring it out here under Delta. Good beat. Astro has a pass out for Aeon. Just can't get there in time. Had a chance to get within one. There's a big save out of Kronovi. Here goes Astro. Now all of a sudden, Continuance picked up the pace. Is it too little, too late? Ceiling shot. Astro blocked by Beast Abonium. And yes, it is too late. Continuum's going to run out of time. That's the level of intensity and speed they need to bring into game four if they're going to keep this series going. Touch forward. That one's down. That'll end it. Charlotte Phoenix 2-1 in the series now as they continue to have a dominant performance on the pitch. However, the end of that Continuum starting to find a little bit of success. Continuum actually having... Uh, more shots and more possession time that game than they did previously. Charlotte Phoenix, five shots, four goals. Shooting percentage, really high for that game, but they had to make a lot of saves. So can continue, continue to make progress here and start to bring the series back, Stacks. There is one way to find out. We go to game <laughs> four on Utopia Coliseum. Hey, don't ask me to make a prediction. Anytime <laughs> I predict anything, we're, oh, we're going to overtime. <laughs> no, we're not. All right. Five minutes on the clock. Do or die for continue. I say do or die. Like they're going to be in the knockout gauntlet bottom bracket tomorrow. Doesn't matter to them. It does matter to Charlotte Phoenix trying to get into the top two. A win in this game. Quick math. Yeah, that will do it for them. Aeon with possession time here. Able to keep it through the corner. Astro actually a nice little touch out. Not quite enough on it. He wanted to ditch that one back to Kronovi. It was a good idea. Just couldn't get enough of the ball. Delta pass forward. Looking for Andy. Astro has a miss. Andy will be forced to take an awkward shot as he can't get any forward momentum into that. But you can see Charlotte Phoenix looking for those passing plays. Trying to find each other. They definitely want to get this series locked in. Delta... That one will come off the top of his hood, and Beast of Bonium will bail him out on the back end. Kronovi needs another touch with Andy, trying to take advantage of any misplay. That's good out of Continuum. They're downfield against Delta. Kronovi puts one on target. Follow-up from Astros, blocked by Beast of Bonium. And now Aeon has to race all the way back to his backboard to stop the counterattack. This is significantly better and faster out of Continuum. Can Charlotte keep up? Astros blocked by Andy before it even became a shot. Yeah, there's a bit more speed there, which is what's needed. Really, it's felt like Continuum, though they have things that happen and occur on the field, it's been slow going. It's easier red. They can get there and make those plays. That last one, yeah, you went for the demo to try and speed it up, but you're going for the third man. There's two other guys, one on each post. I don't know that it was the time for Aeon to try and make that play. Maybe bump the closer player out and open up the lane for shooting into that top left corner. He's going to stay in, though, on Astro and gets a bump on the line. Aeon cannot finish. Astro for Kronovi, but Andy jumps in the way. The pass wasn't on target anyways, and Astro's got to rush back to clear a loose ball from in front of the net. Kronovi quickly back the other way. Aeon will follow in. Astro behind him. And nothing doing at all as Astro's got a range all the way back and Continuum keeps Charlotte off the board. Kenobi with a touch and a bump. Astro with a beat over Beast of Bonium. And it does. It, it currently feels like Control is shifting more and more towards Continuum as they've been able to maintain possession a bit more throughout the first half of this game. And the defense is held really strong. But again, here, opportunities happening and it becomes such a slowed down play that it gives Charlotte Phoenix the time not only to come and make a play in the ball, but they were able to go grab corner boost. Beast of Bonium got a mid boost. There was a lot of other things occurring there that allowed Charlotte Phoenix to just get right back into this. Oh, popped up by Astro. That puts the entire continuum defense in a tough spot, but nobody from Charlotte was there to punish. So now Astro will have all the time in the world. So here comes Delta and he won that challenge. That forces Aeon to play it away. <laughs> Not towards any teammates. Delta. No possession. Here's Andy oh. and Charlotte's on top. And that's the speed that we're talking about. That's the piece that's missing on the continuum side right now. Look at the speed of play. How far up Andy's pushed. He trusts Delta. He knows he's going to make the touch. The play's going to happen, and he's there for him. 
We see that happen on Continuum side, but it's just not at the speed that Charlotte Phoenix is executing at. Astro taken off the field by Beastabonium. Kronovi still way downfield. Oh, interesting pop. Working with Aeon, and boy, oh. great improv there out of Kronovi, but still the save made. Now Crow Double. will try again. He's got to try and set it for Aeon. Cannot. And Delta's just going to go right by Astro. Delta, backboard. Charlotte to make it 2-0. And instead, Andy's got to rush back. Again, it was that situation on the far end where, you know, Kronovi tried to turn something out of nothing because some awkwardness occurs. But that seems to be what's happening over and over again. And Delta is going to execute from the ceiling shot off of a kind of a bump pass play from Andy and Beastabonium. Delta just happens to be in the area and he puts it right on target just under the crossbar and in 2-0 now. Final minute of life here for the side of Continuum. Delta going pew pew, Continuum <laughs> going pew pew. Beastabonium <laughs> brings one in front and now to be Kronovi beaten by Delta. That's almost on target and Ooh. even closer to the target. <laughs> Yikes! Scary one as Astro tried to take a shot at his own near or his uh, far side post there. Beast of Bonium ceiling looking for Andy once again, who's there to try and take the shot. Beast able to turn in, and this one's starting to turn into a back and forth pass battle with Charlotte Phoenix. Delta trying to keep possession and burn out these final 20 plus seconds. Andy throws it right back down Ooh. to the continuum end. Another demolition. I mean, kronovi has been demoed probably at least a dozen times in this series. It has been tr uh, tough for him to get going at oh. all. Beastabonium scores, and it is a runaway in game four. Charlotte Phoenix going to close it out. Well, Charlotte Phoenix come alive, and with this, we'll have to see how it all shakes out, but I'm pretty certain that secures them a top two finish, and they will go into tomorrow with an extra life playing through the upper bracket to find out who they get put up against see if they can take one more for the road andy tries to pop it in can't get it over aeon and astro will pop it out just hitting the ball around for some fun at this point and that is it stacks charlotte phoenix go on a run two games in a row and very similar well i'd say very similar series you know the first series with phase yeah. clan you know they got blown out in game one whereas you know, in this last series, it was a close game yeah. with Continuum in the opener, but they did lose that first game. And then they complete the Spaceman sweep. They take games two, three, and four, and they made it look easy at times. There's no letdown at the end of game four this time either, as Charlotte Phoenix, well in the driver's seat. And I have to imagine just, you know, I don't have the standings up right now. I have to imagine that has got to clinch a top two spot for Charlotte Phoenix. Yeah, I'm hitting refresh over and over again here, waiting to see if it locks in on Liquipedia. Yes, updated. It has. Yes, Aaron, Charlotte Aaron. Phoenix secured in the top two. So they'll go through into tomorrow's knockout gauntlet in the upper bracket. And that is huge for them. And it's also huge for the group and huge for North America because it means only one of Space Station Gaming and FaZe Clan can end up in the top two so somebody's gonna go down below between those two and if it's phase they're gonna have a real tough run as they try to hold on to their spot in the rlcsx championship yeah i mean that that's storylines that are starting to help out on the far side right that starts having implications of of things down the road with um where they're sitting versus teams like xset teams like version one that are right there in the hunt so that could have some big implications where did actually where did xset finish did they finish in the top two no exit goes no, bottom of the, the group also yep. so that that gives version one some some legs to stand on to try and make that ma take that major spot right now so um and exit actually has in their back pocket they have the security net of the grid so if yes. they don't make it through exit as a security net phase clan on the other hand i don't believe they do no, well, no, they finish. don't have the grid wild card because, yeah. again, it's only the top six, only those playoffs. Yeah, teams, they didn't make it. So. Yeah, that can get in. So that is a little bit rough for FaZe. I mean, <laughs> you still got to like their chances. Remember, they're at least going to go 
into the knockout gauntlet bar. We have all of our knockout gauntlet teams, I believe, determined. So, you know, you take what you can get. We got one more match left over here. Still plenty of matches left on the mainstream, by the way. So even after we're done, there'll be plenty of Rocket League to go. But we will welcome in Ghost Gaming against Austin. In fact, we do not have all of our uh, knockout gauntlet teams confirmed because Austin has a chance if they win this series to get into the top four over Stromboli in Group C. Gonna be a lot of fun. It's our last match of the day. It's next, right after this.